So yesterday we had to administer the EpiPen for the first time on Lillian. Oh. Should we just take her to the ER? Yeah. Probably. I think we should just take her. Hi, Hi Smart Soul family. family. Welcome back to this channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. Because we post three videos every single week. So in this video, we're going to talk to you guys about what happened yesterday. And it was actually our worst nightmare that came true. So yesterday, we had to administer the EpiPen for the first time on Lillian. And we had to rush her to the emergency room. As some of you guys know, Lillian was allergic to eggs, tomatoes, peanuts, tree nuts, and soy. We had an allergy testing done three weeks ago and she dropped soy and tomatoes. And so she currently was still allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, and eggs. We were, I will say, in that invincible mode right. where we're like, okay, so things are looking up. She's mm -hmm. doing much better. And so yesterday she actually reacted to something that she'd never had before. Yesterday was um, my dad's birthday dinner, so we were at home. He helped us paint the house. We were having a great time. We sat down for dinner, and my mom bought something special. She bought steak, and she bought lobster. And we had never given Lillian lobster before. So as we were eating it, she was loving it. She was eating it, shoving it in her mouth. It's a coincidence that right before we had dinner, Rachel told me, she said, make sure to keep the EpiPen close by just in case, because she's never had lobster before. Right, and that morning, I actually had a nightmare that... I had to administer the EpiPen yesterday. So I was kind of like freaked out a little bit. So, but you know, just in case, let's just keep it by. It's probably not gonna happen. It's probably gonna right. be one of those like crazy mom moments. Right. So we were all sitting down to dinner. She's eating corn. She's eating a little bit of steak. She's eating the lobster. I'd say about 10 minutes later. So she's, she started itching a little first. Yeah, like so at first, like probably five minutes after she Five minutes after it. eating. She was still eating. She was like itching a little bit, rubbing her nose a lot. And then when we were all done with dinner, we were walking around and she starts vomiting. So she vomited twice in the kitchen. That was about 10 minutes after we finished eating. She kept rubbing her nose more. She was getting a rash under her eye. A little bit on her feet, a little on her ears. And she was acting super, super, super lethargic. I'm probably gonna input some of the video of how she was acting. Oh, God, it makes me nervous. The new thing is a lobster. The new thing is a lobster, yeah. Oh, popsicle. Mm -hmm. Why is she rubbing her face so much? That's she, why I said no, it. lethargicness is scaring me. Mm -hmm. As soon as she peps up and she goes down. We're gonna get Papa Joe's present. She was, you know, asking for Mima to come, and while we're opening Papa Joe's gifts, she was being really sad. Acting like she wanted to go to sleep. So it was like 6.30. So like two hours before her bedtime. And rubbing her nose. And right. normally she's like a hyper running right. around girl. Yeah. Lily, you ready to give Papa Joe's birthday present? Okay. Here you go. Here you go, Lily. Here. Can you give this to Papa Joe? So here you go, Papa Joe. Yeah, for me? <laughs> oh, boy. What is it, Lily? Oh, the presents. Oh. Yeah, I know it's... Makes me nervous. Dad's garage. Do you like it? Yeah. Yay. My house, Lucas and Rachel. Okay. I don't think you understand how much. And so we were like, that's really weird. Do you guys like, so we were discussing at that point, like, do you think she's having an allergic reaction? But I already knew like in the past, to, cause there's one chart that shows you like, these are severe symptoms. So if there's any severe symptoms of these, it could be lungs, heart, respiratory, gut. There's a couple others. So I, I really knew that throwing up isn't, it's a pretty severe symptom. And it's just epi, but however, like I've never, Tested for seafood or, or lobster, and so I think that's where I, like, I froze in the moment. Right. And so she didn't do it again. So I was like, okay, maybe not. And then yeah. as we were playing with her, we brought her the puzzle. We're like, okay, maybe we could wake her up a little bit by um, letting her play with the puzzle. It seemed like she was perking up a little bit, and then she just vomited again. A lot, like a, a lot, lot of vomit. All over the floor. Right. And that's when I was like, okay, we need to take her to the ER. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize I was actually vlogging the whole thing. And her eyes are very droopy. Yeah. Babe, look at her. She's, She's making me nervous. No, she's not tired. She's having a reaction to something. Oh, well, I, wish she's, I wish it's a seafood. We never checked it. 
This is a very reaction. He did she react? What's in there, kid? It's like, you know, we could honestly just really Yeah, she did. She did. So Joe was like, hey, I love you, Mima. And he rubbed her nose. Mm -hmm. But it's running. Look at that, yeah. I mean, we yeah. can always go go check out. Just, just to be on the safe side, ask him to check seafood. Are you going to throw up again? I wonder if we should just. Oh, shh. Oh, babe. Uh oh. Um, babe. Come here. Growing up again. Now it's all the lobster. Oh. Should we just take her to the ER? Yeah. I think we should just take her. We got her up and we take her to the emergency room. By the time we actually get into the emergency room in the waiting room, she's starting to perk up a little bit. There's fish in the waiting room. She was kind of like talking to the fish. So, we're like, okay, it's a little better. By the time we got into the waiting room, she was. I would say like 50, 60% better. We were like, okay, like, you know, maybe she came through it. They still said, okay, let's give her some Benadryl and steroids. Lily, you want medicine? Oh, Ready? Good job. Yeah. Literally, it's like straight sugar, so. Mmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank Your you. Turn. Let's get it again. Finish it all. One more, sorry. You gotta do it all. If you drink, Lily, if you drink more, you get special water. <gasps> oh, oh. This is special water. Fancy water. 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 Good job, Lily. Lily, Lily. We're so proud of you. You want some water? Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Yeah, that's way worse. And they said that because she was throwing up, they had to monitor her for an hour. Right. Um, unless you sign up this waiver saying that you would rather monitor her at home. Right. And so that's what we did. We're like, okay, you give it a Benadryl, give it a steroids. We're just going to keep watching her at home. Because we only live about five minutes away from the yeah. emergency room. We're super close. We came home. We did our whole bedtime routine, normal day. And she was hyper, running around, playing, playing tug of war with the dog. After she was doing that, she was getting a little fussy again. And right. then she just started vomiting. And like the minute she vomited, she was like, ugh, she went, yeah, like she got tired all over again. Wanted to go to sleep. Right, and like she like laid on my lap after she vomited. And she was like falling asleep. And she was like doing And like, we were like trying to keep her awake any way we couldn't. It was hard to keep her awake. It was. So that's the That's point. when we're like, and the lady at the hospital said, listen, if she vomits like that, don't be afraid to epi, epi her. Because that is a severe symptom. Right. So I'm like, okay, if it happens again, we will do it because right. we see like the rash in her ears, eye, feet, right. and she's doing that huge vomiting. So I ran downstairs as fast as I could, right. and I'm frantically looking for her diaper bag, which we we couldn't find. We couldn't find, and we left it at the hospital unknowingly. Thank God they actually gave us a bunch of EpiPens, mm -hmm. so we have a couple in her bag, a couple in her bedroom, a couple of daycare. So we were like well equipped in different areas. Right. So we had a spare. Lucas is like, let's just do it, and I'm mm -hmm. still and I. I, I just feel bad. I froze. I'm not gonna lie. Where I'm like, well, let's let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, what are you waiting for? And so we got to the top of the stairs, and it's, I mean, it's all just sight right. was. I, I just can't get that image out of my head where she was just like, <gasps> like <gasps> she couldn't breathe because like she, she was vomiting, vomiting so, much. so much. She couldn't even breathe. And so Lucas sprinted in the bedroom, got the EpiPen, and EpiPen. Yeah. And we epied her. So after that, so we epied her and then it was in the car. Go. Straight back to the emergency room. After a little bit, she like, she parked back up. It was, you know, well again in a way. Right. And so they said that because we epied her, they would have to like monitor her for three, three hours. hours. And so that's what we did. Lucas and her snuggled and fell asleep together. <laughs> yeah, we could put the picture in. And um, it was just a very terrifying, mm. eye-opening experience. It just showed us how serious allergies are just never could imagine how you really feel in the moment mm -hmm. and like your fight or flight mode kicking in right. you're, you're strategically thinking of what to do next right and just seeing your your child just hopelessly in a state praying to god she's okay it's hard it's harder too like because when they're like she talks everybody's heard her talk right but it's hard because it's they're not at that level yet where they can tell you like mom i'm having trouble breathing right. mom like my stomach hurts my throat like, I'm itches. itchy like right. so it's you, it's hard to know what to do so it's it's hard you have to make those those tough decisions without a lot of information she is definitely fine now she's taking a nap we have to go to her pediatrician within one to two days yep. to fully make sure that that she's a-okay and we have to give her this medicine for the next four days. It's like a steroid. It's like to, a steroid to, to make sure, sure she's clear and like hundred percent like right. clean out of her system. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you guys on Wednesday. Bye guys. Bye guys. Love you.